Hey everybody, Zeddy Goals with AK Nose Lone Green and welcome to Assassin's Creed for the Black Flag. Yes, the last time you saw it on the sixth episode, you might be doing this and that. But let's not go on about to talk what happened, but let's get on to the story for today. And um, if those of you I will be won't be doing much talking, but I will do my very best to entertain you guys as soon as I can. So Feel free to place a like and a comment and stuff if you enjoyed the video, and let's get this show on the road. So, I'll do my very best to talk in this video, so please, enjoy. Join us, or die. Unfold, hey, look at that goods useful for upgrading the ship, sir. All sail, she'll take it. Loose tops and royals. Ease of the wind! Goodbye, 
Hey, old bonnet. Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. Are you not loved? No. Are you not wanted by your wives, and families, and countrymen? How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. Yeah. Six days of pure fucking silence. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you. Or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to barter with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. More sail. All we've got. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a water tower. How's the more? Let's get moving. Another watchtower. Furl all sails. Fall down. Leaf the mains. That's your thing. Loose the stunts. Keep her at half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here.
See them over there. Let us hope the river remains this wide. The ships built for the open ocean, not stoking fires. If we run aground here, we may never get out. Thou sure they don't spy us trailing them. Catch the wind. Steady as she goes, Captain. Clue up, short and safe. Furl all sails. Close the sail. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. down eventually. Every last one of them. Who's that there? Two old gators come for their supper. Showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Right. I thought we'd never make it. 
I apologize. There was an accident. Private Simon! Is this crocodile? I don't care about your hat. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I... Surrender. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch it. Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Well, you're not thinking. You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor is bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, I... I got some... business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On Nassau. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth... quiet and cozy voyage... I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep... than call myself captain. Another year. Oh, we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Don't say that so loud. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Watch some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story.
then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and sorry his ship not boat but jumping around the deck of his ship swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. Hi, Melania. So you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. I'll update your communicator. security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Did you uh, like the allonge? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like, or a large one if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus.
Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Batch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on his majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. What? Was orchestrated by whom? Rackham, Vane! The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Just the other day, Edmund Miller and the Cartwright boys were found half dead in a ditch. They're still not sure the boy will live. Fan out, lads! And take this shanty town as A lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore. I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Charts, Commodore, we're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea. Every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any fort, castle, or other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. See much action. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Please. owe. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is talent, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.
then you have it guys if you want to see my more of my videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below on the corner of the red button just hit that button and if you want to see a more of my information and details and like this go check to the link description down below to go down the description down below to find the more links and the details and to forget contacts with it social media if you don't forget guys I know you will be Enjoy this video if you don't hear me much during the video I'm doing it as simple as that and that's about it so don't forget guys just keep on smiling and especially keep on rocking guys Lone Green out